What's up, Skywatchers? What is up indeed? Tuesday, November 11th, 2025. Today we're going to talk about chemical ice nucleation and electromagnetic activation. But first, we've just been hit by one of the most powerful solar flares of Solar Cycle 25, an X5.16 eruption from Region 4274, peaking at 1004 UTC today. NOAA is confirming a Earth-directed coronal mass ejection, plasma moving at nearly 4.4 million miles per hour. A G3 geomagnetic storm watch is in effect, meaning auroras could reach as far south as the mid-latitudes. With all these X-flares, solar flares hitting us lately, the ringing in my ears has become more intense. Can you guys feel it? All right, many of you are familiar with the chemical ice nucleation. That work has been talked about for years. I've studied it, I respect the work, but my focus takes that foundation further into the electromagnetic side of how weather systems are engineered, energized, and directed. Cold weather engineering consists of silver iodide barium salts that catalyze artificial freezing or suspended moisture in the clouds a chemical to physical transformation. I see electromagnetic activation, energy systems like ionospheric heaters, phased array radars, and NEXRAD transmitters interact, powering and charging aerosol layers. These layers act as a conductive or reactive media, and the outcome? Freezing, heating, and storm intensification. It's field-driven rather than chemistry-driven alone, chemicals are the conduit. They provide the plasma-friendly environment in which electromagnetic control becomes possible where the transformation of matter, ice, vapor, and charge are guided through resonance, ionization, and frequency coupling. And this is why we see the clouds take on frequency modulation effects. The chemicals create the medium, but the electromagnetic grid directs the outcome. These two systems are not opposites, they are phases of one larger operation. The atmosphere isn't just a chemical soup, it's an electrical circuit. Watch the clouds pulse on the Windy Weather Radar app and you'll see what I mean. The aerosols, the metals, the particulates, those are only half of the story. They make the sky more conductive, but what activates that conductivity is electromagnetic radiation the frequencies that shape, heat, and steer the very currents of our weather. When you overlay the radar and compare upper atmospheric data with surface anomalies, you start to see the fingerprints, the pulses, the beams, the repeating geometries. That's not random, that's control. I've already completed two new reports, one on weather as a force multiplier and another on electromagnetic warfare. Both will go much deeper into how this technology is actually integrated into the global framework. Those videos are coming soon. Alright guys, this work takes everything I've got, and right now I can't keep doing it without real support. If what I do brings you value, helps you see the world differently, or just makes you stop and think, consider helping out. You can find the links in the description box. Every little bit helps keep the lights on, the camera rolling, and these investigations and videos moving forward. A huge shout out to all those who have joined the memberships or who have subscribed and support the work with Buy Me A Coffee. Much love and many thanks. Okay, Skywatchers, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, keep looking up.